Okay. Okay. Hi, Liz. Liz, we're on our we're on our final session. Some some said this link couldn't be done, but we've proved them wrong, I think. And uh, this is after the end of the normal school day, I believe, and you're in the hub. What's going on? So uh, what's going on here is what goes on actually every evening, uh, which is that students can come here and they can use the computers, uh, they can do some homework, uh, and they can be here until five o'clock if they want. And usually what you see behind me is what you see uh, is lots of students sort of, you know, coming to use the facilities, something we couldn't do in the last school. How's it used um, during the day, Liz? What, what difference is it making during the normal school day? Um, I, think, I think the hubs are making an enormous difference because in, in the old school there were no social facilities at all, nowhere for the students to sit and chat, uh, nowhere for them to be with the mates, whereas the, at break time and, and lunch time these hubs are used uh, by students to sit around and, and, and kind of socialise. During lesson times, they could be used for small group work, for breakout sessions, for um, special needs support, for additional teaching space. You know, a teacher could you know, split a class in two. So they're, they're really flexible. And the really clever thing about them is that they have been created out of circulation space. Uh, because the school is so rectilinear, uh, th there was actually some, uh, some circulation space under BB98 left over. And so the architects created these really sort of funky spaces, uh, made more funky by the colours, of course. Great. And um, so what's going on now is fairly typical of what happens at the end of a normal school day. Um, just interested to know, do you think you've got enough space? Did you get this, this bit of the school right? Uh, well, if you mean that have we got the hubs right, uh, we have. I mean, the hubs are not just the space that you see here. But actually, they're kind of they're sort of junctions. So we've got open plan toilets, uh, toilets off the corridor. We've got staff faculty uh, rooms. So actually, there's a, there's a faculty room looking on into the space. We've got pastoral spaces. We've got lockers. So they're real, they're real key places. And we think actually in the hubs, we, we, we do have enough space. They're, they're really lovely spaces. And, and tell us about how you think this, this has helped you uh, alongside other initiatives to um, really uh, do address pupil behaviour and attitudes? Well, believe it or not, the, the behaviour in our old school was actually pretty good. Um, uh, but the building was so incoherent. There were so many kind of places that the you know, students could kind of, you know, get lost in, so to speak. Uh, I think the behaviour, wh what this building has done is actually allowed students to, to be how they were really. The, the, the corridors are wider, so therefore it's much easier for people to kind of move past each other. There's a large heart to the school. We didn't have a heart to the school in, in the old building. We, we now have a heart that students can kind of circulate through to get to other spaces. Uh, and I think just the whole, uh, you know, the whole atmosphere, the whole, the fact that we're trusting uh, students, you know, there's a lot of open spaces where we're on show, a lot of windows uh, where, you know, students can see into and we can see out. Uh, and, and I think that whole sense of community that that's created um, has had a, a, a really, a really good, a, a good impact on behaviour. Now, you've got with you the teacher, I believe, that we, whose lesson that we, we were in before, and uh, it was a science lesson. I remember my own time as a science teacher and some of the difficulties that I had as a teacher, having to shift kit around between uh, lamps that were on different levels and so on and so forth. So I'm very interested to hear from, uh, is, it, is it Lisa we've got there? Just what, what a difference the new build has made for her. No, we've got Lizzie here. Okay. Uh, so it's kind of complicated <laughs> because there's Liz, Lizzie and, and Lisa. Yeah, we only we only appoint people with that uh, whose name begins with L. <laughs> yeah, we'd notice that. <laughs> um, so th this is Lizzie, who's who's uh, whose lesson we wrecked this afternoon. So I'm just going to ask her to talk very briefly about what difference what difference has it made uh, to her, uh, you know, being in this new building. What's the what's the one key thing that's that's made a difference? Um, for me, the key thing that's made a difference in my lessons is that my lessons have become standardised. So where I would like to facilitate personalised learning, the technology now allows me to do that. I'm able to plan into my lessons, no matter what room I'm in, um, opportunities, learning opportunities and activities that allow different students to learn in different ways using different learning styles. And my access, the access during my lessons to ICT um, is has much increased, so we've got uh, many more laptops, 
Uh, so students can work independently on laptops, we can work together in groups, and I can obviously, like Liz has said, send students out to the HUD. It's made a huge difference in terms of personalised learning. And just to th that point you made about uh, science labs being on different levels, and in our old school we had um, science labs on three levels, three floors, no lifts, Three of the science labs you could only get into by going through another science lab. So the fact that we're now all on one floor, that we're together, uh, you know, just it, it just makes a, a massive difference. Liz, we're going to finish the session there, but just one final question uh, for you, and, and that's to, su to sum up, what difference has the BSF programme made to you and to, to Beaumont Lee's school? So I'm just going to read something very briefly that I've read a few times, um, and it's from a poem by Marianne Williamson. Now, some of you might know this, but it starts like this. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous, and the poem says, actually, who are you not to be? And I think what BSF has allowed us to be, I think the human element was there before. You know, we had a heart and soul, great relationships with the students, but what this building has really allowed us to do is to be fabulous and gorgeous. <laughs> just a, just a, a murmur of laughter going across the audience here as you said that. Liz, we've thoroughly enjoyed being with you today. Um, I've got to say I'm particularly interested in the carpet that's the colour of universal love, so I may have to research that a little bit further. Um, but we're delighted that the new build is helping you make an impact and continue all the good work that you've been doing over a number of years, and we wish you continued success. Thanks a lot. Thank you.